This thing is not working. Hello? <clears throat> there! <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Facebook Live. <clears throat> this is Joe Man coming to you live. Oh, wait. Let me fix this. Oh, there you go. This is Joe Man coming to you live every morning at 9 a.m. Every morning at 9 a.m. And today we're going to talk about something very important. But before, grab one of these at your local Trader Joe Man's. It has spinach, a peanut butter, a potisserie, and um, it's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing. You can grab one of these at your local Trader Joe Man's anywhere in your state except Arkansas. <clears throat> now let's get on with the topic. Today, we're going to talk about something very, very special. <clears throat> we're going to talk about what is the commonality between cross-training, what is cross-training first of all, and, and what, is, what, is, what does it have in common with the three books I'm reading and David Lee Roth. So we talk about that, but before... I want to talk about some insights from this week's Facebook Live challenges. Uh, Kara Lapert, uh, getting out of your comfort zone with your peer group. That is so key. Whenever you're uh, you're talking to somebody like that knows a lot about something you don't know about, or they have different opinions than you. Like for example, Democrats and Republicans, uh, NLP people and CBT people. Hello there. Say hi if you're on in the live, and say hi also if you're listening to the recording. Um. So uh, that insight, great, Kara. Thank you so much. Uh, Apple. Uh, Apple D- Dahmer Bond Bonder. I love the hearts. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, so Apple, the lessons from the challenge, timing. Um, like you talk about, like if you're trying to figure out timing, I wouldn't waste much time on that. It's when they say, like you know, the sun like comes out from the east. Why is that? I mean, you could you could do research on that, but like I wouldn't spend much time on that. Um, I would just pick a time every day and then announce to people that you're gonna be on that same day. That day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the hearts. Uh, you know, just like every day that you're going to be on, just say, hey, I'll be on at this time. And then people who want to see you, they'll they'll log in to see you if they can. Um, and then uh, Jason uh, Goldberg and Michelle Soros di- uh, podcast, Dialogue Over Monologue, Conversations Over uh, conversations over Conversions. You know, like, let's have a conversation here, like... I'm getting all these faces and I'm conversing with these faces uh, in dialogue over monologue. So, for example, like talk with people and like don't ignore like what people may be thinking. Address that whenever whenever you're talking to the group. <laughs> yes, I love that. So, uh, yeah. So let, let us let us know you're here. Say hi. Uh, do some emojis. And uh, let's get started with today. What? Is cross training, and what are what are what is what does it have in common with the three books I'm reading and David Lee Roth? Mm. What is cross training? <clears throat> cross training is the concept of doing different trainings and different things, doing different things, and like those things will cross train you, will only make you better at the at the one thing that you do best. For example. David Lee Roth. <clears throat> David Lee Roth uh, is is the singer of the the one of the most influential bands in history, Van Halen. And uh, David Lee Roth is something that he uh, he went and he became an EMT for a year, and then every summer he would do it for four years. He was an EMT. So imagine if you're in the back of an ambulance and David Lee Roth is back there with you, and then he's like. Everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. <laughs> and then you're like, what the? F- Am I dead? You know, it's David Lee Roth. <laughs> it's my EMT person. So, <laughs> so um, you know, so I was, I was watching the, the Joe Rogan podcast last night and, and David Lee Roth just sipping some wine, just having my relaxation Friday. And uh, I was having a blast. I was feeling so relaxed. Thank you so much for all the emojis. I'm so glad. Um, 
And then I, I was getting all these insights and aha moments from here. He has so much energy. He's over 60 years old. He just started a company. And every time they ask him, what would you do that? What would you leave behind like the best thing you do, which is like singing in, in front of millions and millions of people in order to become an EMT? And he says, cross training. Cross training makes me better. It not only makes me better learn something new, but it makes me better at what I do. Um, so... And then what does that have in common with the three books that I'm reading right now? Well, <clears throat> I'm reading three books right now. And uh, the first one is Personal Development for Dummies. Talks about uh, NLP, CBT, life coaching, and um, what is the other thing? Life coaching and uh, hypnotherapy. So uh, you have these concepts of psychology and the study of the brain and the mind. And then the second book I'm reading is... Um, is uh how to write jokes so so i have personal development for dummies and how to write jokes the third book i'm reading is how to write a screenplay in 10 weeks so how do these things cross reference each other well you have the personal development which deals with the drama of life you have the joke writing which deals with the comedy and the screenplay encompasses it all it puts it all together so whenever i'm doing exercises for the joke writing <clears throat> um, and then i'm doing exercises for the personal development part then i'm doing exercises in the screenplay writing book then it all comes together and uh, so whenever I'm reading like something about CBT or NLP, it makes more sense because of the screenplay I'm writing. Whenever I'm reading something about the jokes, it makes more sense because of the screenplay, because of the personal development, because of the psychology. So it all comes together in one little bow tie, in one little seed that grows and germinates and turns into a flyer. Say if you're if you're live right now, like if you're on the live, say hi, show some hearts. Or uh, if you're on the recording then say hi as well <clears throat> but um that's all i have to say today so um you have uh these these three things right you have cross training which is the art of training in different things at once you have david lee roth and then you have the three books i'm reading uh personal development for dummies how to write a screenplay in 10 days how to write jokes you put them all together and what does that do for you it makes you a better person but what does this all translate to? It makes you a better artist. And what's up, Franklin? <clears throat> uh, make sure uh, say hi if you're if you're live. Uh, I'm talking about the the the. I'm talking about cross training. Uh, three books I'm reading and David Lee Roth. And what do they have in common? So um, the, what they have in common is like cross training, it makes you better because it sharpens your saw. Like let's say like um, I'm reading a book on personal development, one on joke writing and one on uh, screenplay writing. And then they all have things in common. Like uh, so like whenever I'm doing something for the screenplay writing, the drama in the personal development makes it make more sense. When I'm doing a joke writing, it makes the comedy make more sense. And then they're all like interrelated. The screenplay writing makes both of them, they come together like the personal development and the joke writing. Comedy and drama. <clears throat> CrossFit training. <laughs> CrossFit training is actually <laughs> not like, anyways, that's going off subject, but um, yeah. So uh, cross, cross training should not be confused with CrossFit training, um, CrossFit training is kind of the same concept where you have like, anyways, I don't know anything about CrossFit, so I'm not going to talk about it, but Francis, make sure you pick up one of these, man. Uh, this is a, a spinach smoothie. You can get it at any Trader Joe's, man, um, in, in any state. You understand now, yeah. Um, any state other than Arkansas. And it has spinach, it has peanut butter. Um, it has, what else did I put in it? Flax seeds, bananas, and mangoes. And then you put it all together. It comes in a beautiful blend. Get it at any Trader Joe Man store in your state except Arkansas. <clears throat> and with that, thank you very much for listening. Francis, the NLP practitioner. Hey, man, what, you want to get on really quick? What's up, man? Let me, let me see. <clears throat> let, me, let me see if Francis...
wants to get on this live. Oh, he left. Okay, so he doesn't want to get on. All right. Anyway, so like always, um, like I always say. Be the flower or be the bee that spreads the seeds that become beautiful flowers because we need more beautiful flowers in this world. Thank you, Michelle, for the Facebook Live Challenge. Thank you, everybody, for listening, being here and paying attention. And um, everybody, we'll see you on the next video.